Today we're beginning a new section about advanced topics in topic classification using concepts like TFIDF, latent semantic analysis, and support vector machines. In this section, we're going to take a look at number one, how we can build a text pre-processing pipeline with NLTK. Number two, creating hashing-based features from natural language. Number three, classify documents into 20 topics with LSA. Number four, document classification with TFIDF and SVMs. In this video, we're going to focus on how we can build a text pre-processing pipeline with NLTK. In this video, I'm going to introduce this pipeline thing with two steps. Number one, use send and u to pass data around functions. Number two, structure your text preprocessing graph using decorators. So why are we talking about pipelines again? I thought we solved this last section with the scikit-learn pipeline function. So what the scikit-learn pipeline function can do is it doesn't allow you to branch. So you can't do two things in one go using the same outputs of the previous step. You always have to go one input into a model, one output, and you take the output into another model, meaning that you cannot take the outputs of one step and feed it into two different models with two different outputs and then maybe either combine them or discard one of them and then use the other one. You can't do that, right? Furthermore, it's also sometimes hard to combine NLTK and scikit-learn functions. And NLTK is obviously purpose designed for natural language processing, so we want to use it as much as possible. So I'm going to show you today what are the NLTK functions that is commonly used to pre-process natural language to make it structured language data so that it's ready to be vectorized and fed into machine learning pipelines. Number two, how we can use the send and yield generators in Python standard library to create a data, sorry, a text pre-processing graph. Let's get right to it. So some housekeeping, we're going to import NLTK, unsurprisingly, and we're also going to set a corpus this corpus is simply a few sentences from the scikit-learn documentation. Nice and easy. The first thing we want to do is to understand the different NLTK functions that are commonly used for text preprocessing. So there's sense tokenize, which splits a text into sentences. And while this might seem very intuitive, actually, because let's say ellipsis is three footstops, and then you have to distinguish it between that and one footstop, and also what happens if there's no space after the footstop, what happens, or how do you take care of parentheses, etc. So send tokenize contains all of these rules, and you can just deploy it, and it would nicely separate it into sentences. And then word tokenize, we're very familiar with. We This breaks up a sentence into words, easy. POS tagging stands for parts of speech tagging. So what this does is it tags words in whether it's a noun or adverb. So these position tags can be used to inform downstream models about what this word is and help on inference. And then any chunking is trying to extract noun phrases. So it's a little bit like two grams and three grams, but instead of blindly taking two words that you know come after the other or three words that come after the other, any chunking tries to intelligently extract phrases that make sense given what the word, given the corpus. So how do we create this pipeline? So we first need a pipeline decorator, which takes in a function f. In that pipeline decorator, we have a defined uh, inner function called start pipeline, which just simply passes on the arguments and the keyword arguments. We first call and assign the function with the arguments into new function, and then we call next on the function. So doing this allows us to feed in a function that is a generator and calling next allows it to then feed data through. So there are two keywords we need to remember here. So number one is send, which sends data into the targets. And in the target functions, we can use the yield keyword to get back the data from send. So what this allows us to do is to then pass data from one stage to another and also pass the data to all the targets instead of just one target like what we have in scikit-learn. So if we wrap all of the NLTK steps with function like this and use the pipeline decorator, we can then create a text preprocessing graph like this one where we have ingest, tokenized sentences, tokenized words, 
and then put like an or pipe the outputs of tokenized words into two different stages where we one first print it and then we then pass it further on to parts of speech tagging and then any chunking and then print it again. If we run this, we can see that after splitting it into sentences and words, we then print it and then feed the rest of the results into parts of speech tagging, which is what happened here. So for example, strategy is a noun and it is a proposition. And then we also have chunked the nouns. So we have things like scip.parse is a chunk noun, or we can have parentheses here with or binary occurrence information. And that's all there is to it. So we've just learned how to use the generating functions send and yield in the Python standard library to pass data around functions. And also structuring a text preprocessing graph, which allows us to take the outputs of one step and pass it to multiple new models steps instead of just one, as opposed to the scikit-learn pipeline. And we do this by using decorators.